I'm a man of simple taste. And when it comes to statistics, there's really nothing simpler and easier to interpret than a Z statistic. Now, when we're dealing with fMRI data, typically we get things like T statistic maps, but it's relatively easy to convert from that to a Z statistic map, and those are usually easier to interpret. All we need to know is the number of subjects that went into creating this T statistic map. We have a couple of functions in MATLAB at our disposal, and then we can convert it from T to a Z, which usually makes everybody much happier. In this example, I'm going to be showing how to do it in SPM. There's a very closely related way to do it in AFNI as well, which I'll cover uh, shortly, very soon, but they both use their respective calculators. There's a calculator for SPM, there's a calculator for AFNI, there's a calculator for FSL, and these things are invaluable. They allow you to do all kinds of transformations to your data and are very flexible, help you do whatever you want with them. In this case, we'll see how we're going to use it to convert from T statistics to Z statistics. What I have here is a script, which was not written by me. This was something that was here before I got to IU, and I just want to give the credit where it's due. This was written by Josh Brown, my advisor, and also some additions by Adam Krawitz. Now, the core of this is simply converting from, say, a T to a Z, a Z to a T, or other transformations as you want. You could go from a p-value to a z-map if you had the p-values available to you. All you need to do is give it an input, an output prefix, and then what kind of conversion you want to do. And if it's a t-statistic to z-statistic, give it the degrees of freedom. So let's see how this works. All you need to do is copy the code in this file to somewhere which is in the path of your MATLAB directory. Once you have that, you can simply load up the command convert. Oops, what the heck? Why is this being so weird? Sorry about that. It's the command convert underscore SPM underscore stat. Let's say I want T to Z, and then the name of the T statistic or T map that I want to convert. And I'll call this SPMZ number one. And lastly, the degrees of freedom, which is 27. I run that, it calls upon IMCOG to produce the necessary map, and then I can look at these in SPM to compare them side by side. Do, 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 do. Go to check reg, and I'm going to load up SPMT and SPMZ. The most important things to note here is that if I have Z on the bottom, T on the top, as I click around, notice that the Z statistic is slightly smaller. This is because it takes into account degrees of freedom. Now obviously if I had many, many subjects, like hundreds, then these two things would be nearly identical and you really wouldn't need a conversion tool anyway. But this just provides you a really simple, straightforward way to convert between them. You can read through the code yourself just to see how it does it. It calls upon the T cumulative distribution function and also uh, the inverted normal distribution as well. Okay, so next time I'll we'll cover how to do that in AFNI, but for now just play around with that if it helps you at all with displaying things, if it helps just getting a better sense of what's significant if you're overlaying stuff in MRI cron, that really helps me a lot at least. So I hope this helps. I'll see you guys next time.